Last week, I found this hen that seemed like she was clearly gasping for breath, and I isolated her from the flock, and I honestly didn't expect her, expect her to make it more than 24 hours. I was absolutely shocked to find the next morning she was downstairs eating and drinking and had absolutely no signs or symptoms whatsoever of being sick. It's been several days and I'm going to let her back out with the flock. I'm just shocked. Welcome to the world. I didn't do anything special for her. The only thing that I did was put a little apple cider vinegar in her water. I don't know. It's just the strangest thing. I really got to get saddles on the rest of these faverolles and I finally do have enough to saddle them all. <laughs> We've had another bout of rain that's left our garden in complete mud, which is frustrating because we would have liked to have already tilled this to get ready to plant. Like, I'd like to get my, some of my seeds and like my beans and my corn and stuff like that in this week, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. It is just way too muddy out here to till. The one good thing is that every all this green that you see out here, that's our hairy vetch, it has really had time to take off and grow. And we have more rain coming, I think tonight, and then we might have like two dry days after that. And maybe if we're lucky, it'll dry up enough to be able to till this. Because our actual plant date, even for getting our tomatoes in the ground, is coming up next week. This is the row of potatoes that I had planted that we had stored under the house. A lot of these are looking pretty good. I thought there was a whole lot of frost damage on these, but a bunch of them have already recovered. I don't know what is going on with these little lettuce seedlings that I planted here. They're just not really doing anything. You want to go play? Yes? I'm starting to have this nagging itch again to get a dairy animal. Part of me is like, oh, you know, there's so much already on my plate. Why add something to it this year? As I've said in a previous video that I probably was gonna be dialing things back. <laughs> that may be short-lived. This is really not proper leash manners at all. Part of me is like, well, you know, only getting older, you only live once, just do things. It's not like the end of the world if you do something and it's too much to handle. You can always dial things back again. And having a dairy goat has been a huge thing on my I want to do list. Originally I thought Nigerian dwarves because they're a nice small size for to handle and everything. But now I'm kind of leaning more towards Nubian goats. We definitely don't have like concrete plans yet. I think we kind of figure at this point, let's just get through planting the garden and all that and see, you know, what's going on. If that tom turkey comes out of the woods, are you going to protect me from him? No. You probably run and let me get attacked. If you're always waiting for the perfect time to do everything, then you never do anything. There's never a perfect time. It's definitely a little bit muddy to be out here doing anything today, but I am just tired of being cooped up in the house after all that rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and see about mulching my Spanish onions. I'm gonna go ahead and flip and move my compost pile. I don't know what happened to my sunshine, but that wind is chilly without sun. I am going to saddle the rest of these hens. I have three left to do. This time I came prepared. I do have one of these nets and every time I need it, I forget that I have it. All right guys, are we ready to do this? No, not me. We need to go get in the chicken tractor. <laughs> you, how many of you want to go in there? 
Now, Nami's never actually been aggressive to anyone before, really, but he probably would be if he thought he was protecting one of the hens. All right, let's see if I can catch one of these hens without netting them first. Hmm, fail. There's two over here. Here, chicky. Got one. That was easy. <laughs> All right. Be free, little chicken. All right. I need another one. Don't really want you going in the woods. That makes this way more difficult. Oh, goodness. I could chase them around all day like this and net them. I think they figured out that it's hard for me to get them in the woods. Uh, I feel like I'm going hunting. There's one. That's not gonna be easy. Come on, you gotta get out of the woods. This is the kind of stuff I need kaja for. Apparently I'm not a pro netter. I need to practice. All right, and we're off. No, not me. It'll be okay. I'm not eating them. I really thought this would go easier. Get him out of the woods. <laughs> you would think they would be really easy to net. They're not. Now it's too hot. I need a new strategy. This is the trick. This is how you catch fish. Bait. All right, guys. Look at this tasty, tasty treat. Wow, look at that. Ooh, look, we got one right here. Every one of these is not a chicken I need. The two hens that I actually need are hiding in the woods. I'll never ever get her back here in the woods. There's, there's no way. You. I can't believe I only got one out of three. That is a pretty bad score. The chicken is definitely winning. You're supposed to be my assistant. You're supposed to fish out the chickens for me. I'm gonna try one last time and if this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna have to get them off the roost tonight. She's on the move. And I don't have the net. Oh. The warning alarm has been set. Oh. I think the roosters are giving away my position. Shameful. Who feeds you? I think I'm defeated for now. Until tonight. They can't defeat me tonight. I will win. Chicken. All right, Nanami. You win. You can come out. He's obviously the victor. This is definitely to be continued. With our planting date only like a week away at this point, um, starting the process of hardening off all our tomatoes and peppers, basically the rest of our plants that I haven't hardened off already. Some of them I kind of got a jump start on because I didn't have enough room in my grow room for all these plants. Man, I really hope I can get these in the ground soon because I think these tomatoes have just had it. And so have I went moving all these around. <laughs> 